In this video, we're gonna take a look at the acid ionization constant Ka that we define for any weak acid. The Ka reaction itself is worth knowing. In fact, you have to know it. The acid itself, if it's monoprotic, we're gonna write as HA. And the acid is gonna go ahead and react with water. And what makes it an acid is that it can donate a proton to water. So we're gonna look at the acid reaction as proton transfer, that's bronsted lowry remember? And if it gives a proton to water, it's gonna convert it into the hydronium ion and the hydronium ion, or H3O plus, is the ion that we will see later on. We'll lower the pH and we'll make the solution an acid. And it's also gonna leave behind the acid minus the proton, and that is the conjugate base A minus. Because this is an equilibrium, we can define an equilibrium constant. The equilibrium constant we're gonna call Ka. Now the A here is telling us that it is an acid. It is just simply a Kc expression though, but for acids we have our own special way to write that as Ka, and it's the concentration of products over reactants at equilibrium. So we've got the hydronium concentration times by the concentration of the conjugate base, divided by the concentration of the original acid, and of course water is a pure liquid, and we don't include things like pure solids and pure liquids in equilibrium consonant expressions. So we can essentially write an effective concentration of one, or in this case really just ignore it. So because it's an equilibrium constant, the value of the equilibrium constant tells us what we find at equilibrium. If the equilibrium constant is large, we mainly find products at equilibrium. If it is small, we mainly find reactants. So for weak acids, these are gonna have values on the order of 10 to the minus four to 10 to the minus 14. So we're not gonna have very many products. We're mainly gonna have reactants, which is to say that these weak acids barely dissociate. In fact, that's the definition of a weak acid, something that undergoes less than 100% dissociation. So let's have a look at a table from our textbook of some common weak acids. And uh, there we go, we'll just put it over top. So we've got some uh, acids here that are actually quite as strong. So chlorous acid is uh, got an equilibrium constant of 1.1 times 10 to the minus two. So that's uh, ex actually quite large for a weak acid. Hydrofluoric acid is uh, 10 to the minus four. Um, acetic acid is the acid in vinegar. We see that's 10 to the minus five. Something like phenol, which you find in sort of coal tar soap that has that very antiseptic -y smell, has an equilibrium constant of 10 to the minus 10. This last time column here is pKa. This is the negative log of the equilibrium constant. And we'll talk about that later. We can see the ionization reactions are essentially all the acid itself reacting with water and the acid donates a proton to water making the hydronium ion and the conjugate base, which is just simply the acid minus a proton. So here's an interesting puzzle. So we've got three different molecular views of an acid, HA, HB, and HC. So we typically put the H to tell us that's an acidic compound. Which one of those has the largest Ka? So pause the video and have a look, see, and see if you can figure out which one's the most acidic. All right, so the larger the value of Ka, the more it will dissociate. So if we look at these individual acids here, we can see that the white thing is the H and the red thing here is the A. And so over here we can see, well, so we've got one hydrogen that's dissociated. And uh, so that's uh, very, very weak, isn't it? Over here in HB, we can see that these hydrogens have been dissociated. There's four over there. And here in HC, we've only got two of them. So this one here is actually dissociated the largest amount. So this would have the largest value of Ka. So Ka for this one would be the largest. I, I'll put a double up arrow here. Um, the uh, third one, so HC. Okay, so we've got uh, two protons dissociated and the lowest one of the lot is gonna be HA over here. So on a molecular view, these weak acids are just breaking down and somewhat forming some hydrogen ions and conjugate base.